Oh, China is still struggling to get back to work, especially the factories. Manufacturers have been grappling with a tangle of requirements that vary province to province and cities to city. Uh, for the most part, uh, factories are being required now to provide extensive prevention measures before they can resume work. For example, uh, to quarantine workers coming from other areas or to supply enough masks for all of their employees. Now, some localities are outright delaying the production dates to as late as March 1st, uh, the requirements for the most part are also creating a whole lot of confusion. For example, I was speaking to one factory boss in Guangzhou who said that he has a supply of masks, but they're sitting in Hong Kong because there have been so many reports now of private shipments of masks being redirected to Wuhan. So he doesn't know when he's going to be able to get those masks and hence doesn't know when he'll be able to reopen. Now, Beijing, as well as other big cities, are bracing for a surge in confirmed in new cases. And that's because China has 244 million migrant workers, and they are all traveling now to return to the big cities to work. So that's another reason why an important date that people are, are eyeing here is February 20th, because that would mark the end of a 14-day incubation period when most people started traveling on February 7th. So people here are hoping, Scott, that this is going to be a, a turning point. But again, it's just a hope. How are people dealing with some of the basic services we take for granted here in the United States? Mail delivery, uh, dry cleaning, basic services uh, like that? Yeah. Well, you know, it's uh, a lot of the people who do those services are migrant workers. And a lot of those migrant workers, like I said, have not returned to work. So um, people are struggling. If you go around um, the neighborhoods in Beijing, for example, a lot of those places are closed. And I think I was thinking about this, Scott, and I feel like it's the equivalent of if you think about a lot of uh, um, immigrants in the U.S. or people who are doing all of the services jobs in all of the big cities, if you think suddenly they all disappear and then how do you function? And so that's what people are grappling with here. And just like, for example, personally, even within the bureau here, uh, while we're doing our work, we're also uh, taking out our garbage. We're, we're cleaning up the, the, the office just because there isn't anyone else to do it. And I think it's a good, definitely a reminder for me, but I think for a lot of people, uh, not to take for granted how much support you actually have.